Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chef Pop Delicious cooking channel. Um, I haven't posted a video for a long time, I've been busy at work, I'm a real big boy job, and I've been focusing on that. But it's pretty cool, I've put a, I've put a couple stuff on the menu with the help of my boss, doing a bunch of good Greek specials, uh, working hard, so it's been great. But, we're back. Today's my day off, and we're going to be doing a video. We're going to be doing some more videos, hopefully keeping it a little bit more consistent, and yeah, it's going to be fun. So today, we're doing a Greek-themed classic, okay? I'm from Houston, close to Louisiana. In Louisiana, you got Cajuns. And what do Cajuns love? Po' boys. So, I'm Greek, I love food, let's make a Greek po' boy. That's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be making a Greek shrimp po' boy. So we're going to see how we do it, see how I do it, tell me how you're going to do it. So, let's quit talking, let's get cooking. Now, first things first, we got to go with our ingredients. So, we're going to have the star of the show, our shrimp, right? These are wild caught shrimp from the Gulf of Mexico, okay? Fresh stuff over here. And we peeled and deveined them. Here's a little footage of me deveining them and having a horrible time. Bam, we're back. So, we have them all deveined ready to go. We're gonna make a little marinade. So we have a little olive oil, of course Greek olive oil. We have some minced garlic, some Greek oregano, the smuggled kind, the best. Some paprika, just to give it a little color. Of course, salt, pepper, fresh lemon juice. And then we're gonna add some fresh mints. Po' boys, gotta be French bread. I got these from H-E-B, so all you Cajuns, chill out, I'm sorry. I got it from H-E-B, it's French bread. I'm trying to stay authentic, but it's a Greek po' boy. It's not gonna be authentic. We have our vegetables too, so a nice little texture component. We got some sliced um, tomatoes, some shredded romaine lettuce, some carrots, some red cabbage. So those veggies are gonna give a nice little brightness, nice little crisp. That's what you want, you want a little texture play. And then your sauce is gonna be a Greek tzatziki. If you wanna learn how to make the tzatziki, I have a video for it, which the link will be in the description. And I made it spicy. All you have to do to make it spicy, put some hot sauce in the damn thing, put some paprika, and there you go. Spicy tzatziki. Woo! Charge a dollar more at the restaurants, because you no know, why not. So, we're gonna go ahead, get everything ready. So we're gonna do our shrimp, first and foremost. So, we pour our olive oil right in the damn thing. At the end of the day, make your marinades how you want it. I'm doing a simple marinade that's not gonna, you know, be too, too exhausting. At the end of the day, you want your shrimp to get the flavor. You don't want the marinade to get the flavor. So we're gonna do our oregano, and we're only gonna do a little bit. We're gonna see how everything is. First comes to where she can season a little bit later. All right, paprika. We're going to do our black pepper, salt, and lemon juice. So we're going to get our mint, and you can either chop it really fine, chiffonade it, whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to go ahead and break it and just utilize it for the marinade. Okay, bam, right in there, stems and all, who cares, it's fine, not a big deal. So we're going to mix everything up nice and bright that's what you want you want a nice flavorful and simple you don't want to be that guy that's just putting things in it just to put it you know why not just gotta think think with your head okay all right we're gonna put it in the refrigerator and we're gonna let it just do its thing for a little bit and we'll assemble the sandwich let's go look at that beautiful shrimp right there guys you got the mint infusing with the shrimp and the oil and the lemon and the garlic Smells awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this simple. We got our oven on convection 375. It's gonna be nice, hot, ready to go. These are small shrimp, so it's not gonna take long at all. We're gonna do, let's say, six shrimp per sandwich, or maybe more. What do you think, Joseph, more? Probably more. Okay, never mind. we're gonna do more. Yeah, so we're gonna line everything up nice. And a little spaced out, okay? So we're gonna do a little montage because you don't wanna watch this shit. I mean, you're not that dumb. You can do this. <laughs> We got our shrimp nice, lined up, ready to 
go. So what we're gonna do, throw it in the oven. Throw it in the oven. Bam! Okay, so that's gonna go in the oven. All it takes is like five minutes, if that. So, wash our hands because food illness is an illness. We're getting our bread, okay? And I cut it right down the center. Bam. So, we're gonna cut, but cut it right there. Perfect, right there, perfect. We're gonna do it to the same thing on this bread. So, put in a little olive oil in there. We're gonna get a nice brush. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. The reason we're doing this is because we're fat, okay? And what do fat people do? They like good food. They don't care about trans fats and all that crap, okay? We're cooking Papa Delicious style, baby. If you wanna go do some healthy binge thing and you know, cut weight, this ain't the place for you, bro. Whenever you get fat, come back. I'll be here. But we're gonna do the interior of the bread. You know, nice little brush, okay? And this is gonna make a difference. One, flavor. Two, looks. Okay, now we're gonna break this up. Break this up. So. Look at that shrimp. It's basically almost there. Okay. So we're gonna wait about one minute. Bread should be good, the shrimp should be good, and then we're gonna assemble our sandwich. Okay, our shrimp are done. Look at that. Nice, cooked through all the way. Close the oven so the residual heat's still heating up the bread. And we've got all of our accommodations here. So we're gonna let this cool down a little bit. Then we're gonna get the bread out and build the sandwich. We got our bread fresh out of the oven and spicy tzatziki. Slap that on there. And if you're wondering what hot sauce I used, I used Frank's Bread Hot. Get our lettuce right in there. Okay. Our carrots right in there. And our cabbage right in there. Okay. Some fresh sliced tomato. Alright, we want it just for like And we're gonna throw, jam pack this baby with shrimp. Look at that. That's shrimp, po' oh boy. I'm contemplating. Should I do it? I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I have some Zodoni feta, the best feta you can buy. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit on there. Just a little bit. So this is gonna give a nice little saltiness. We're gonna get some glamour shots of this bad boy and we'll be right there. So people, we have our beautiful shrimp, Greek style shrimp, po' boy, Greek shrimp po' boy, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna smush it all together. Oh God, eat this thing. A good sandwich, but bite too. My God, the feta is a nice touch. I like it. Gives a little brininess. Gives a little goodness. Tzatziki, I like it. It's nice and different. Let me throw a little bit on there. The coleslaw, your well, the Greek coleslaw, basically. The shredded cabbage, the lettuce, the carrots, the tomato. And then that hit of feta with the shrimp gets it all together. Oh! Oh, no. Sorry, yeah. I'm not supposed to curse, bro. Why are you letting me curse? But no, this is a really good sandwich. Honestly, I don't care, bro. This life, okay? I got sauce on me. That extra sauce. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> That's gonna go on the Chef Papa Delicious restaurant. That's a good sandwich, dude. I like that. Okay, people, I'm gonna finish my sandwich. I'm gonna enjoy myself. You're gonna enjoy yourself. Make the sandwich. Let me know if you made it. Let me know if you have a different way you're gonna make it. I really enjoyed this one. I'm definitely gonna make it more, but thank you. I hope I'm giving the people what they want and when they need it. Chef Papa Delicious, we'll be back. See ya.